All right, cool. Here we go. Welcome back to Soma. Okay, when we left off, we were looking for some stuff for her and... Or for st some stuff for me so I can become another... Becoming another person. Becoming another person. Or suit, whatever. Shut up. Um, oh, this way. Let's go this way. This looks safe. Safe and fun. Or not. Shit. Everything is a okay. No need to worry about the creepy guy. Stop it. I think it to read that one. Yay. Removing lockdown. But guy, please don't murder my face. that who you are a beautiful thing by Todd Intel find alpha or find towel find alpha take the gel to alpha into the abyss take it to alpha in the abyss Oh, it's dark now. That's... That's wonderful. Strasky, are you there? Can I hear you, Herbie? What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Well, okay, then. Stay safe. Can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. <laughs> Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right. Heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tao, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tao. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. I 
got the chip. Let's fuck off. What is? I will gladly hear it if you don't murder my face. Or explode my head, please. Please don't explode my head. I like my head. It's on my body. It's where it needs to be, man. So many fun places. Oh fuck. Hey buddy. Um you don't mind if I go in here, do you? Is this kind of resonant evil me? No, it doesn't slice me up. Awesome. Of course. Put it on Mr. Ratatouille here. Put it on your ass. It came back to life. There's something like it. That's nice. I did it! Alright. There's... Mr. Uh, 
scary dude gonna do his scary dude thing or I'm ready for you scary man hey there you is and you ugly as fuck hey you know how to get upstairs I need I need some help Let's go. Hey, it's an upstairs. All right. Let's get this shit. And this is the part where the spooky monster comes out. Cool beans. Let's go see what's over here real quick. Fun and happiness. That's what the fuck's over here. You ain't got no head, Lieutenant Dan. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice so you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Sounds fun. that thing which means it's gonna be a monster Okay. 
Of course not. Will you fucking go away? You didn't hear that. Nope, no, she does come after me. That's awesome. Open up. Grab that shit. Fuck off. Time to fucking go. Oh my damn. Oh my damn. No, 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 the room. Fuck that room. Fuck that room real, real hard. This part was fun. I mean, not really, but... Yeah. Scary guy, you in there? Not anymore, son of a bitch. Will follow me there? Do I want you to? So shit fuck. Something tells me I don't want you to follow me there. Another donkey cock. Freaky ass shit, that's what the fuck's happening. What's going on? I managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the suit from the terminal again. This is gonna be fun. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Oh, great. So I just, uh... We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it, just make them line up. Okay. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything I've... Oh, shit. She was Sorry talking. about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having your picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world... You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> cool. Upgraded. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? What was that? No, I it just Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now 
You are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Well, shit. Do nothing? Oh. Well, shit. That sucked. This looks fucking creepy as shit. <sighs> Guess I'm going down in the dark, scary hole. Alright. Fuck it. I died. Awesome. What's over here? Oh. Shit. Alright, so I broke the game. Um, yeah. Are we done here? Yeah. Oh, it fucking glitched. The cloud, please. Sure thing. Some bitch. I 
Look, it's a random ride! Have we figured out what happens when we die yet? Is that even possible? If there's some kind of afterlife, do you think my place is taken? The real me died like a hundred years ago. Is there still room for me? And what about the Simon I killed at Omicron? What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? That I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right sign. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? What? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the small rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Well, shit. for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry. It should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted more than anything. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally, you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation, since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like 
an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. <laughs> that one dude I can't remember what his name is looks like we're closing in on the that, ocean floor uh, good not sure tried the to take it much longer or okay I don't so know this is the about. Omega sector it's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by pathos 2 I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town you haven't been here before not in a way that'll help us right. the other you has been here we're following your little footsteps cat when I had footsteps you could still be down here somewhere Technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Alright, let's head for Tower and find that arc. Okay, so uh, I feel like this game is almost over, so I'm going to end this episode here, and we'll continue it in the next one. Oh, no, I'm going to look down. Yeah, continue this in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.